Hey, what's up guys? Your boys Pilot 2K7 coming back with another tutorial. Today we are going to be learning how to install the new tractor drawn aerial aka Teller by Medic4523. So first of all, huge shout out to Medic4523 for releasing the first Teller truck. There has been some Teller trucks in the past, but they were all private. This is the first one that's actually public, so I know you guys are going to love this. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick installation on how to install this uh, fire truck here. So first thing I want you guys to do, before you even download this, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that like button, because like I said, Medic been dropping a ton of fire vehicles and first public release tiller, which is really awesome. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Next, go ahead and download Go ahead and download the file. Um, if you'd like to donate, definitely consider donating. This goes directly to Medic if you donate right through LSPDFR. So once you got all of this set up, I will also link it. So don't worry about that. I'll link that down in the video description. Once you have it downloaded, you should open it up. Um, you should have some type of program to unzip a uh, RAR file. So I use one RAR free. You can use it. So you're going to go ahead and open it up. It's going to look like this. You're going to see Teller Pack. Um, just for like whatever reason, if you don't know where it's at, you guys shouldn't know, but basically once you hit download, it should go to your download folder. So just download, open up the Teller Pack, and then you will see this. So we're going to go ahead and install this together. going to go ahead and want to open up the README really quickly. So as you can see, you're added in a couple different trucks. Um, you have the actual Teller, which is the the rear and then you actually have a couple different fronts so you can see you have a pierce velocity pierce arrow c grave and another pierce arrow flat roof raised roof so a lot of different things that you could do oh this one has the horns too which is pretty cool all right so we're gonna go ahead and install this it says if you're open if you're using open iv drag and drop these into your desired location using an add-on methods you can create a slot for or you could replace i don't think you should replace because if you replace it's gonna be crazy um, the models and their data files are currently set up to be added to the Medic 4523 Fire EMS Pack. So that is actually perfect because we already actually have that installed. If you guys do not have that installed, definitely install that first. Um, that's super easy to install. I do have a tutorial on it, but it's not released yet. But I'll try to post a tutorial on how to install that one as soon as possible. So for that one, here it is right here, Fire and EMS Pack. So... If you already have this installed, it makes installing the tiller so, so much easier. So let's go ahead and pull up OpenIV now. You should already have this if you're modding GTA, but in case you don't, I'll link that as well. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the models here. We're going to go to OpenIV first, actually. So let's go OpenIV. We're going to go to Update. You're going to want to also use a mods folder. Hopefully you're already using a mod folder. If you aren't, check out my tutorial on my website, acepilot2k7.com slash tutorials about how to set up a mod folder. So we're going to go mods, update, x64, DLC packs. And then I have a ton, tons of different DLCs in here, but you're going to want to look for medic4523. So we're going to go ahead and click on medics, DLC. Again, don't mind. I may have some extra stuff. You're only going to have this one, though, so don't worry if you don't have this. I do tons of different things. So, um, yeah, you're only going to have this. So click that. X64. Levels. GTA 5. Vehicles. Vehicles again. And now these are all of the vehicles in the pack. So we're going to go ahead and do is drop all of these tiller files in here. Um, while we're doing this, at the same time, let's also drop all of the ELS files in there as well. So assuming that you already have ELS, you're going to go to ELS, you're going to go to back default or pack default, <laughs> and then you're going to want to drop all of these files in here as well. So tell it forward, drop in, and then we already dropped in tell it forward there. So we're going to go ahead back up. Next, drop tell it two in. Same thing, drop the XML file in. So the XML file, that basically is what ELS uses to work. Tiller 3, you're going to drop these three files, YDF, YDT, 
and a high YTF. Drop all of those three in open IV. Make sure you hit edit mode. I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta remember to slow down. So if for whatever reason you can't, make sure you always hit edit mode first. Like if you try to do this without edit mode, it won't let you, so you see. So make sure you turn edit mode on. So drop and drop. So we're gonna go back, velocity, you're gonna drop these three. Hit control if you wanna do them one by one. Drop, XML, drop, I go back again. And the actual trailer now, drop, drop. And we are done installing the files. Now you have a couple options if you want to change the rim color. So let's take a look at how this looks. So let's just look at Tiller 1. Oh, look at this. So this is just the front here. It's very nice. Very, very nice. And then the one trailer, trailer TRL is the actual rear. Which is very nice as well. So, uh, what we're going to do, if you guys want to like change the rim colors, like by default they're black, but if you guys want to change them, I'll show you guys how to do that. You're going to want to scroll down to the YTD file, so depending on which one you want to change, say if you want to change the, the whole trailer, you're going to want to look for rim color. So it's in alphabetical order, so rim color. This is currently black, so say you want it to be red. This is what it would look like if it was red, so what you have to do is a couple different things you could do. Um, I'll show you guys all the ways you could do it. You could like take it to your desktop and then you could replace, go to your desktop and then you just look for it. So rim color red, replace. And now the color of the rim is gonna be red. If we save it, we will see that it's gonna be red. And you could do that for pretty much whatever option you wanna do and then hit save. Come on. Okay, so if we go back to Teller Trailer now, we're gonna see it has red rims, as you can see there. So that's how you change the color, colors of the rims. Um, you could also, again, go here, go to Edit. I forgot I'm right clicking it and going to Edit. Uh, where is it? Rim color. So you wanna change it back to black. Another thing we could do if we rename this and we'll take out the black, you can also just drag it over. Okay, now it's black again, save. And that's the other way you can do it. So different ways to do it, just get the same results, whatever you prefer. Oops. Okay, so wait for that to close and we'll see that the rims are black. So next we're gonna install, I'm kind of skipping around. Let's do VG plus now, so VG, Plus, if you already installed the Fire and EMS pack, you should already have the VG Plus files in already. So, um, let's go ahead and bring this up again. So let's go back to our Granite Photo 5 folder. You're gonna go scroll down until you see Vehicle Gadgets Plus. Now, if you don't already have this, you probably didn't install the Fire and EMS pack, so definitely go back and install the Fire and EMS pack. And like I said, I have a video tutorial that I will be posting soon on how to install that if you guys need help. Um, just let me know in the comment section. So back to Grand Photo 5 folder, Vehicle Gadgets Plus. Um, as you can see, we have all of these here. Um, we already have XML files for the ladder. So all we got to do is take the tiller, these three files, drop it in here. So tiller, trailer, tiller, four, and tiller. So those are the ones that have vehicle gadgets on it. So two and three do not have vehicle gadgets. So just keep that in mind. So next we're gonna go to data files. Now we're gonna go back to the um, open IV here. So for the data files, we gotta add in, let's just open it up to see how it's looking. This is actually the first time I'm installing this as well. So I'm installing it with you guys. So this is gonna be for the tiller trailer. Okay, so what we have to do, go back to Grand Photo 5, go back to Mods, Update, X64, 
DLC, Medic for 523, DLC.RPF, X64. This time we are going to go to, actually no, I went the wrong place. I'm sorry, let's go back. So DLC, let's just go all the way back. <laughs> so Medic 4523, DLC, Common, Data. You're going to see a car variation file. What I recommend you guys do, just like take this file. Let's actually take all the files we're going to be using. So take these two, drag them to your desktop just to back it up, just in case you mess anything up. Like you can easily fix it later. So you're going to right click, edit. I mean, this is going to be um, inside of here. So what you're going to do, we already open up the car variations. So let's go ahead and open up car variations. And you want to copy this whole entire line, this whole entry. From items, we want to copy all of that all the way up to the top. Copy all of this. Other option, you could hit um, Control A and then Control C, and that would also copy everything. That's another option you could do. So we're going to close that. We're going to go into here. Now, you want to be careful here. So basically, you want to put your cursor right in front of this last this first entry was just item. So basically the way it works is it goes item and then it ends. Actually not on that one. It ends right here, item slash. So always it should always end with a slash item and then it restarts with an item. So you want to make sure that you are starting um, right before this item. If you put it in front of this, it would mess up. If you put it anywhere else, it's going to mess up. So make sure you put it between a variation data and this item. This line doesn't really matter. You could take it off or leave it in. So we're going to go ahead and right click paste or control V paste or control V would paste. And then if you look down here after you paste it in, you're going to see it ends with item, starts with item for the ambulance. So we know that's good. And then up here it starts with item. So we know that's good. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. Next, we're going to do the same thing for the handling file. So we're going to go ahead and open up the handling. Handling is a little different. It starts with item type equals CH handling, but pretty much the same thing. So you could do control A, control C. That copies the whole thing, or you just right click copy. Next, you're going to want to go to right click, edit. Now, this one is a little different. Um, you want to make sure you put it in front of item type C handling data. So you want to go ahead and go right here back or press enter to get that line right here and then you want to make sure that you're posting this whole item right here so we're gonna go ahead and paste so just how before you started touching it the first line was item type C handling data for SWAT brigade we'll go ahead and post that in there make sure it ends with the slash item then it starts back at the right place it does and as we can see here um, handling data Yep, it's perfect. So everything is the way that it originally was. So item type C handling data, just like it was. So we're going to hit save. The last file we're going to do is a vehicles and meta. To get to there, you just click levels, GTA 5, and now vehicles. Let's just go ahead and drag that out and save that as well, just as a backup. Edit. And now same thing, you want to copy from item to item. So this is a lot. Again, you can just do control A and C. And as you can see, we have the whole file already copied now. So close that. And same thing, we're gonna wanna enter it right before this item. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit enter, hit up, and then you just wanna paste that whole line right here. So you wanna make sure again, it's gonna start and end with the right item. So paste. And as you can see, it ends with the item before it starts with the ambulance. Perfect. And then up here, it starts with the item before it goes teller. So you're good. Hit save. And now we are done. You can turn edit, edit mode off. You can turn that off. And we can go ahead and back out. So we are now done. We put the models in. We put the data files in. We talked about the rhythm color. And we talked about the V plus G um, vehicle gadgets plus. So now... We're going to go ahead and restart our game. 
<clears throat> I got the hiccups. Uh, I'm going to start through Rage Hook since I normally use Rage Hook mods, but you can also start it through Steam or however you have it installed. So double click that, let that start off, and it will be right back. Alright, guys, so we are in the game. We're going to go ahead and uh, start spawning everything that we need here. So let's first spawn the trailer. So we're going to go ahead and spawn Tiller, T-R-L, there we go, so as you can see, the Tiller part spawns in game, let's uh, ah, dang it, you know what, let's use menu, because it's going to be a lot easier with menu, I'm just going to save this thing first so it doesn't despawn, and then let's just turn off traffic so they don't mess us up and let's get some nice time and weather all right perfecto so let's go ahead and spawn the next part so spawn tiller just gonna do tiller one first okay so this is the tiller one you know what let's just spawn all of them really quickly um so that's tiller one I'm going to just save them as I go so they don't despawn. So Tiller 1. Spawn Tiller 2. I think there's like, what, 3 or 5? I forgot. Spawn Tiller... Wait, did I do 3 already? I'm losing count. No, I didn't do 3. So we got 1, 2, 3. Let's make sure we save these. You can also go in them and save them as well. So now I gotta do Tiller 4. Alrighty. So I got all of the Tillers. I don't think there was a Tiller 5, right? No, there's no Tiller 5. Okay, so we got the four Tillers. Got the trailer. Uh, let's see. Which skin do we have on it? We have... It looks like the Los Santos skin is on it. I think it's, this is truck four, truck eight. I don't know which skin that is. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Let's just grab this one here. What about you? Staying out of trouble, man. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and attach here. So you can use whichever one you want. They all slightly are different. So as you can see, this one doesn't have the rotator in the front while the pierce one over to our left does have the rotator this one also doesn't have a Q siren on the bumper while that one does have a Q siren on the bumper so they're all slightly different so make sure you um, check them out and figure out which one you would like to use as you can see till it works what you're gonna want to do now is let me just check deliveries really quickly I want them to match here Okay, so this doesn't have any other liveries. Let's check this. So this is 34. Truck. Oh, here we go. Truck 8. Yo, these skins are so nice. I gotta try that West Mess truck. Okay, so truck 8. So that looks pretty nice. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind, if you do wanna have the lights on on the back of the tiller or the trailer part of the tiller you can actually have to jump into the tiller and you have to turn the lights on back here as well so you got to manually get in and turn the lights on when you're by yourself um, another thing uh, is there anything else I think that's it I don't think you could actually steer no you can't steer the back wheels unfortunately um, at least I'm not a hundred percent sure if you could I got to double check um, now what you want to do is load plug in uh, what is it? Vehicle gadgets. So load vehicle gadgets. You hit tab that fills it up for you. Press enter. Okay, dokie. So we got that in. And we're going to go ahead and get it now. To use the ladder, I'm guessing you're going to have to be over here. It would make sense if you're in this part. Yeah, so to use the ladder, you got to get into the trailer part onto the trailer part and you can use your keypads to control the actual um, 
the actual ladder, so that makes sense. Alrighty, so yeah, that's perfect. So we'll drop that there. Uh, if we head over here, now this one, let's just go ahead and detach this now. Oops. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this right here. Uh, I want to use one of those nice skins. Let me see which one has that that brownish looking skin or grayish. Oh, here it is. It's this one. West Mestro. Oh, there was a Chuck 4. Chuck 4 was with this one. Okay, so you get different options. So you can have a lot of different Chucks here, as you can see. Let's check this one out. This only has one. This is a FDNY style Seagrave. You guys know we gotta use the Seagrave. Okay. Okay, so only these two have multiple skins on them, so let's go ahead and attach this. Not attach. Let's go ahead and find a matching skin. So you can see, you pretty much get the matching skin for each other truck, so depending on what you want to do here. We're going to go Metro Truck 401. That's actually my unit number in cuffs, which is pretty cool. So this also has vehicle gadgets as well. The vehicle gadgets is going to be the front rotator spinning around, as you can see there. So very, very cool. Oops, I missed my aim, misjudged it there. There we go. All right, so everything works. I will also be doing this tutorial on like fire truck sirens and all of that stuff as well. Uh, by the way, it may look like I'm skidding on ice. I actually have the snow traction mod in right now. So even though it's not snow on the ground, it, the truck is going to behave like it is snow. So if you guys see me like skidding out of control, that is why. So this is really nice. We got a tiller in game, guys. Just trying to see the turn in radius. Oh, I jackknifed it a little bit too hard. This would be cool, like, if the rear wheels were turnable, that would be so cool, but I don't think it's possible in GTA 5, because the trailers and basically, it's like a, it's like a truck, like, picture it like a semi-truck, like, the front is the front of the semi-truck, and the back is, like, the trailer part, so the trailer parts in GTA 5, they were never made to turn, so I don't know if that's something that is possible, but it is really, really cool, though, this is pretty awesome. Let's, um, check how far our ladder can reach right here. So again, to use a ladder, you gotta get into the rear part here. Uh-oh, it's not as long as I thought. I thought it would reach over there, but that's still pretty darn cool. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. You put zero. <laughs> you gotta put those stabilizers out. I forgot all about that there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I want to give a shout out to our awesome sponsors on YouTube and also our subscribers on the website. I'll try to get you guys this tutorial first and then post it to our YouTube as well. So thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!